Welcome to Fredericton on this beautiful day. Dr. Elder Maggie Paul to open us our opening prayer. Oh, Lipas Kwepsi Dewen. Good afternoon, everybody. I've given thanks to all the people who have asked me to come here to open up this beautiful, beautiful ceremony, this beautiful, beautiful building that was built. I give thanks. We come from the east of the Wabanaki people. I give thanks. I'm going to sing this song. This song I'm going to sing was the very first song that I ever sang when I first opened my eyes to doing my ceremonies again. The songs that were sung by our ancestors. <laughs> High School Band, directed by Greg Weber. Kick it up, Hooka! Here this afternoon to honor one of the gallery's most steadfast supporters and friends, Mr. Harrison McCain, and to recognize the tremendous contributions of his wife, Marion McCain, to the growth and development of New Brunswick and Canadian art and artists. This wondrous building was conceived and designed, as you heard, by Shirley Blumberg, Matthew Wilson, and the remarkable Canadian architectural firm KPMB. This is what the Harrison McCain Pavilion is meant to be, a public space where all of the gallery's many communities can come together to learn, to enjoy each other, to sit around the fireplace and share stories, maybe about Mr. McCain, challenge each other and to find common purpose in this incredible art gallery. At this point, I would like to call the curator of the Beaverbrook Art Gallery, John LaRue. Thank you, Paul. Merci à tout le monde. Uh, if art is a bringing of light, it's a perfect day to be here today. So I thank you so deeply for coming. This is wonderful. Uh, shades of 1959, where we, we occupied this, this wonderful street so well. And I, I really want to thank you so much for being here with us today as we open our collections to the world, or what I really should label as your collections. This wonderful celebration event is grand. This new building is monumental. But when it comes down to it, every interaction that you will have with the art today that sits proudly within these walls has a potential to be a deeply sublime and intimate personal experience. If we open ourselves to it, the art can change us each that tiny little bit. It can open our minds just that small amount more. 
It might encourage a curiosity that we may not have known that we've had. Or it might ignite a passion that we, have may, have, we may have forgotten about for years. I hope that you can be open to those moments of inspiration and awe because we need them now more than ever. It's a great pleasure to introduce you to a number of exhibitions that we officially open today. Some of them are known internationally and some of them call New Brunswick or Atlanta, Canada home. But I can say with no exaggeration that every artist from our region that has an exhibition here today can hold their own with the great artists of the world, bar none. So today we are proud, oh, absolutely. <laughs> Alors aujourd'hui, nous sommes très fiers d'ouvrir des expositions. So today we are proud to open Deanna Musgrave, Transcendence. Deanna is one of Canada's most accomplished painters and muralists. Deanna created a custom designed mural called Transcendence that occupies the entire wall of our 2017 pavilion here next to us, adjacent to our Dali masterpiece. Deanna's work is a powerful creation of beauty, light, and colorful form that is deeply moving. And Deanna, it was an absolute pleasure to work with you on this. This exhibition of contemporary and historical artworks from the permanent collection helps us ask questions and open a dialogue to encourage understanding and empathy with subjects and social issues that are not always easy. Art is not always just about hanging pretty things. It has to make us think and look deep within ourselves at times. You will not leave that exhibition unmoved. With that, I want to thank you so much. Merci à vous tout le monde d'être ici. I'm thrilled to have you here. I will be here all day with our guys. Be sh uh, it, it will be one of the great privileges of my life to show you these exhibitions. Come and enjoy your gallery. C'est votre galerie, c'est votre collection. Et merci de célébrer la culture neo brunswickoise aujourd'hui. Thank you for celebrating New Brunswick today with us. Congratulations to the Beaverbrook Art Gallery on this momentous event. Félicitations à la Galerie d'Art Beaverbrook pour cet événement spécial. We've all waited a very long time for this day, and it is very clear that it was worth the wait. This space is truly breathtaking. And for those of you who've yet to be inside, once you go in those doors, you will feel that. Your breath will be taken away. It's an honor to be with all of you for this uh, grand opening of the Harrison McCain Pavilion. The Beaverbrook Art Gallery has a very special place in my heart. It was very important for me to be here today when this was all taking place. I want to extend a warm welcome to all of the dignitaries that are here to celebrate this day and to all of you who are sitting out and being part of this with us. It's a delight to be with you. I had the opportunity to visit the gallery while it was under construction earlier this year, and even then, I knew that I was witnessing something of great magnitude. This magical space is a game changer for our city and for our province. And even as I walked through it with a construction hat and there was activity everywhere, you could feel, you could feel the presence of this space. Because great things are happening in this building. I'm sure that I need not tell any of you that the Beaverbrook Art Gallery holds a world-class collection of magnificent pieces. And while I have always loved this gallery, regardless of its size, and I'm old enough to remember its many different sizes, I feel now is a world-class space truly deserving of its world-class collection. It's a true gem in our city, host to many renowned and rising artists. And perhaps the Beaverbrook Art Gallery's most valuable contribution and what is made even more possible in this space is how it brings together art and community, two of my greatest passions. Today's ceremony with the Fredericton High School Band, with Indigenous drummers and dancers, and all of you here, this is a perfect example of art and cultural expression being a vehicle a driver for community building. I'm sure that if Lord Beaverbrook was here today, he would be both impressed and moved by the significance of this space. Lord Beaverbrook gifted this gallery and its substantive collection to the people of New Brunswick, to this provincial capital, and how special it is that we're having this event here today, almost exactly 63 years since the gallery first opened in September 1959. Come on in. 
There's a hair on the board, on the frog, on the boat, on the log, in the hole, in the bottom of the sea. There's a hair on the board, on the frog, on the boat, on the log, in the hole, in the bottom of the sea. 